How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. So this is a Miniso phone lens. This is a 3-in-1. Now this is a wide-angle lens and a macro lens and it comes with a flashlight so if you get too close to something you'll still have enough light to be able to see it when you go into macro mode which i think is really cool and also might work uh, good for selfies too not too sure if you notice that i'm a little bit more hoarse than normal it's because i think i'm getting sick it is going around right now but this is what the packaging looks like let's go ahead and zoom in on that it shows uh, some good examples between uh, regular and macro and regular and wide angle. It has a nice silvery look to it. And then this is what the back looks like. It gives a lot of the uh, informational stuff on here and uh, how to change the lens and then uh, probably the battery as well. Um, if you want to pause right here and read this information, feel free. Um, but let's go ahead and open this up because I'm really excited to see how this looks and uh, show it to you guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and unfold this little flap, set this down, and right here it looks like it comes with a lens cap, a little bag to put everything in, kind of looks to be microfiber almost, you probably could use this to clean the lenses too, it's so soft. And then, of course, we have a little recharge right here for the light, which is really nice. So you don't have to actually replace the battery. You can just charge it up. That is really cool. Adds a lot more value to the device than uh, if you just have to uh, replace the batteries all the time. So first of all, let's see if this has a charge in it. It does. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. So the whole thing is diffused. It's a really nice soft white color. And uh, all it has a row of LEDs kind of in a triangle. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine LEDs that uh, give off a nice soft light. So especially if you're trying to look at something really up close, you're going to be able to see it with this. So that's really cool. Oh, it looks like it has two settings too. Three settings. That's really bright actually. That'll be really good for being able to see things really up close. That's so cool. So this right here feels like a plastic, but this area down here that it attaches to, um, actually this is plastic as well, but the lens itself is metal, which feels really nice. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that. So this is what the lens looks like. Nice silver finish. It says uh, macro right there. I'm not sure if these come apart or not. I'm pretty sure they do. And then the clip opens like that. It has a nice little uh, rubbery thing on the ends and this side too. So when you clamp it down, you don't hurt your phone because that wouldn't be good. So as you know, I have the Samsung Galaxy S9 and that thing is a little bit finicky when it comes to lenses. My last one didn't go down far enough in order for me to uh, actually get it fully on there. So hopefully this one will actually be able to do that. So I'm gonna grab my phone right here and take it out of its case. All right, so as you see right here, I have the camera on. Let's go ahead and see if we can, sorry if my phone's a little dirty, get this on here properly. We can. It is just the right amount in order for it to make it there. Do you see that? It hits right there, just enough. And let's go ahead and angle it just the right way. Right about there, we can focus and then do, just zoom in like 1.1 times to get rid of the border. And now as you see, you can see all the way around here. Here's my hand, here's a good comparison. We're gonna go ahead and take the lens off. And now as you see, you can not really see a lot of my hand. You can see a lot more of my hand when this is on. Go ahead and line it up. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Um, it's not really like hard or anything. It just kind of immediately slides on there. Not too uh, much time taken away from finicking around with it, which I like. Now let's go ahead and take it off and see if there is a way to disconnect this and make it just macro or if the macro is built in. But I think the macro 
Yeah. Oh, look at that. Let's zoom in on that. It's so small, but it has... Look at that. An actual threading in there. That's insane. Now, I'm not sure which one of these is the macro. This says wide plus 10 times macro. So I'm assuming this one right here is the macro. Let's go and zoom in on that again. So I'm assuming you just got to attach it back on here now. There we go. Kind of a small little lens right there. And let's see what happens when I put this on here. It might be the other one, but I'm not too sure. Oh no, this definitely is seeming like the macro. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can zoom in on there. You know what, I might have to do manual. Luckily this has a pro mode on here. So let's go to pro. And we're going to set the uh, manual focus to, I mean autofocus to manual. Oh wow. I just wasn't close enough. Look at that. That's insane. I'm not even uh, digitally zoomed either. This is just regular. Wow, that is crazy. I wonder if I can put this on the phone I'm recording on. Wow, look at that, guys. You can really see in there. Look at my finger. Whoa. That's kind of gross looking, not going to lie. I have a 4 gigabyte stick of RAM right here, and I'd like to zoom in on the modules. I think that would be really cool. Let's see what we can do right here. Whoa, look at that. I wish I had something to hold this because my hand's not the steadiest. These are really small, by the way. These are, I can't really give a size comparison, but let's see how far we can zoom in on this. Look at that. That is insane. How cool is that? So that's digitally zoomed. Let's zoom out. Back to regular. So this is this is how small it is for comparison. If you can see my hand, this is my hand right here. Those modules are extremely small. All right, now I have some of those erasers that I review, the iWackos. See how far we can zoom in on one of these guys. Look at that. A little dirty though. So this is the boat. It almost looks like, I never noticed that before. It looks like there's smaller boats in there almost. This is the boat right here. Then how far can we zoom in on this? I haven't really adjusted my focus. This kind of just auto focuses on this camera. And let's see how far we can zoom in. You can see some hairs on there. It's kind of gross. Look at that. And then when you're done, we can just, uh, attach this back on here. I like that it works with my recording camera too. I wasn't sure if it would since I kind of have it mounted on something, but uh, it was able to work. Let me know if you guys ever want to see, uh, you know, maybe like a scientific Saturday or something like that, where I do macro on interesting objects. I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't say it'd be necessarily a product review, but I do think it'd be a nice review of some maybe scientific -y facts. What do you guys think? I think this is a really great value, especially because it can be charged very easily. It has three different brightness levels, and the macro is, again, I, I said it a million times, insane. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you haven't already, you should check out my Patreon. I have a $1 to $10 tier and up. And uh, it just helps me be able to get some more interesting products for you guys. I use all of that in order to be able to kind of help support the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.